tutorial for Illustrator CS6. This will work also in CS5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We'll go right here to the pen tool and uh, if you click and hold you'll get the palette that shows the, all the pen tool options. I've gone ahead and created a screen grab for you. So select the pen tool and there are two options using your mouse. You can click and that creates a bezier point. That point does not print or export by itself it's just a mathematical point. If you click it and release the mouse again it creates a new point and then connects it with a straight line. So every time you click and release with the mouse it creates a new bezier point and it connects both of them with a mathematical line, a straight line. Now if you place your cursor directly above your first point you notice down at the bottom we get that little O that shows up that means close and now your path is actually a shape. This particular shape if I select it is filled with white and uh, with a black outline. If you double click you can actually now fill these shapes with any color that you like. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Select no color and no stroke here. The second option with the pen tool is going to be to use click and drag. Now this creates a bezier point with two handles at the each end there. You notice your code hinting there um, or your smart guides actually tell you that's a handle and this is a point. Next time I click and drag what it does is it creates a curve line. The curve uh, line is being controlled by the handles here. So every time you click and drag you are now creating a curve line. You notice that the rest of the path has disappeared while you uh, focus just on the two uh, segments here. The two bezier points and the curve line that goes in between them. So clicking and dragging allows you to create a curved path. Once again going to the first path I'm going to go ahead and close it. Best practice says that if you're going to make a shape go ahead and close those paths out. Now you do have uh, the add anchor point tool and there's a shortcut. You can go to the actual tool itself by going through the menu and all it is is it adds anchor points anywhere. You notice there is a plus sign at the bottom of my cursor and the minus uh, tool. I use the keyboard shortcut that way. Uh, you just hover above a bezier point and subtract it just like so. The convert tool there is uh, how you modify these bezier points. Now if you need to get rid of a handle use the convert tool you click on the point and the handles disappear. If you need to redraw them you just click and drag and now you can get these new handles. Once you release the mouse the handles will be locked. So if you need to modify a handle that's all you can do is just grab that handle and you notice the handle is now broken and we've got this reverse curve here. So any handle that you want you can break. Now what if you wanted to modify this side of the curve you, you see you can't see it go to your direct select tool right up here and now click on the bezier point you can see the handles now both here and with each adjacent bezier point and you can click and drag them so that's how you actually modify or edit those individual paths here so this gives you great control for actually not only redrawing the handles but also moving those bezier points so I can move that in I can move this path elsewhere drag this out as well and there we go. So that's how you actually create it and then you can go through and assign either a stroke or an actual uh, fill color to each one of these shapes there and that's the pen tool tutorial in less than five minutes. Thanks for watching this is 5minutetutorials.com and the best compliment you can give us is to share this tutorial with all of your friends. Thank you.